In this lecture, let's go ahead and learn about state in React. So even before we learn about state, we will learn why exactly do we need to use state in a React component. So we already have understood from the previous example that props are immutable. So props are objects that hold information to control behavior of a component. So we all know that props are nothing but they are something which gets passed to a function and these props are objects and those objects contain some information which influences the behavior of the component which we have. Now the problem with props is that they are immutable which means that a value of a prop cannot be changed inside a component. Now, what if you actually want to have an object which could hold information which influences the behavior of a component, but which could also be changed dynamically inside a component. So for that very purpose, we learn about state. So a state is also an object that holds some information, but that information may change over the lifetime of that component. So props and state are some sort of a similar thing, but the thing with state is that they can be changed during the lifetime of a component that makes state more dynamic to use. Now let's compare and contrast props and state and let's try to understand the difference between the two. So let's talk about props, let's talk about state and the very first difference is that props are actually passed to the component. So props are nothing but they are something which is passed to a component. So a component is nothing but a function. So prop is nothing but it's like a parameter which is being passed to that function. So imagine a regular function. It could be a function in any programming language. So just as you would pass a parameter to a specific function, props behave in a similar fashion. Whereas state on the other hand is contained inside the component. So you cannot actually pass a state to a particular component. Instead, it's already contained inside a component. So imagine state to be like a variable inside a function. So you cannot pass a variable from outside a function if variable is actually contained within the function itself. The next property and the most obvious thing is props are immutable, which means you cannot change the values. State on the other hand can be changed inside the component. Now, the way to access props is that whenever you are using functional component, you can simply refer to props as props. And whenever you are using a class based component, you need to refer to props as this dot props. Now, using a state is quite different. We have not actually taken a coding example of state and you will understand how to use state in a better way when we actually code an example. But this is how state can be accessed. So whenever you want to access state inside a functional component, we use the use state hook. Now, what exactly is a hook? We have not touched the concept of hooks yet, but for now, just remember that whenever you want to create a functional component and whenever you want to access state over there, you make use of the use state hook. So we will be taking an example for this in the lectures ahead. Now in a class based component, whenever you want to access state, you simply say this dot state. So this is relatively simple. Now the final difference is that, as I earlier mentioned, props are like parameters which are being passed to the function and a state is nothing but they are like variables declared inside the function body. So this difference has already been discussed. So right now you might not get a clear idea of what state exactly is and that's absolutely fine because we have not yet jumped into actually using state in our code but we are going to go ahead and do that in the next lecture. So in the next lecture what we will do is that we will actually create a component and we will try to use state over there and see how state can be changed and see how state can be accessed. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.